Hey guys, so today I have a really simple and easy tutorial for you guys. As usual, I try not to make things complicated. Um, this is a look that I have been wearing a lot lately. I feel like it's a really fresh, luminous spring look. And I actually did a blog post on um, my website kind of explaining all the products that I use to get a luminous glow. You can see kind of the highlight that I have going on on my cheeks. So um, in this tutorial, I'm just going to basically run through all the products that I use. I'm going to show you how I apply them. And yeah, it's really simple. It's kind of a mixture of, of course, Bare Minerals. Um, there's some Clinique, there's some drugstore. So a little bit of everything for everyone. And if you guys are interested in getting this luminous glowing look, just keep on watching. Okay, so going along with the luminous theme, I am just taking my Primetime Bare Minerals face primer. This is the brightening kind, and I'm just applying one pump all over my face. This does have a tint to it, and it also has bits of kind of, um, not really shimmer because they don't show up shimmery, but more of like luminous flexes in it, if that makes sense. Next, I'm just taking my Bare Minerals SPF 20 Correcting Concealer, and mine is in the shade Light 1. It does have more of the pink undertone to it, and I just like to apply this on my eyelids and also underneath my eyes just to help counteract uh, kind of the purple veins that show up in your eyelids and um, also underneath my eyes just to give more of a brightened effect. And you can also apply this to other areas of your face. I just really prefer using it underneath my eyes. So next I'm just taking my original Bare Minerals foundation. My shade is fairly medium and it does have a cool undertone to it so it does have a little bit of pink in it. And I just like to buff this into my skin. Again, I just use a little bit at a time and build up my coverage sparingly. And the reason why I am using the original is because it does have a luminous finish. The minerals that are in this foundation naturally give you luminosity to your skin so it's perfect to use if you want more of a glowing complexion. If you have more of a combination to oily skin type, I would definitely recommend using the matte formula. It does have more of a matte finish to it. And then you can always go back and add your highlighter or add more of a luminous blush just to give you more of a glow. Because um, I know some people who do have oily skin uh, really don't like to use the original because it does have that luminous finish. Okay, so my next product is actually what I call my secret weapon whenever it comes to highlighted and luminous skin. I did post this on my blog, so if you want more information on this, it is on there, and I'll have the links down below. But I'm taking my Well Rested, and this is a, technically it's an under eye concealer. I use it as an all over face concealer, but I like to focus this uh, directly underneath my eyes and kind of around my cheek area, kind of like the Kim Kardashian highlighting technique, um, kind of in a triangle underneath my eyes it just gives you the most perfect glowing look um, it, it's not shimmery but it just gives you more of a highlighted look underneath your eyes and hands down every single person always asks me how I get my eyes so highlight or how I get underneath my eyes so highlighted and this is definitely um, what it is so I highly recommend well rested My next step is actually a new step, and this is a new bronzer that I found at the drugstore. It is the Physician's Formula Happy Booster. Um, I believe it's the light bronzer. I don't know if they have different shades in it, but this one is the light bronzer, and it is so perfect for more of a luminous finish. It does have some shimmer in it, but it doesn't show off on my face as shimmery, so that's what I really like about it, and I really love the pink heart in the middle. It's so cute. Okay, so this next product is pretty much an oldie but a goodie. It is Hint Blush by Bare Minerals, and it is the most gorgeous blush. It does have the luminous finish to it. It's like a perfect dusty rose color, um, but it just gives you the most gorgeous glow, and I've just really been coming back to this blush lately. I've had it forever, and I highly recommend it if you're looking for a new blush. It's so pretty. Okay, so my highlighter is pretty much the ultimate glowing highlighter. This is Turn On Multitasking Highlighter by Bare Minerals, and it was limited edition. I don't think you can still get it, but if you can't, then I would recommend Pure Radiance or Flawless Radiance. Those are also very pretty, and I'm just going to be applying this on the highest points of my cheek. So next I'm just taking my Ready SPF Mineral Veil, and no look is complete without Mineral Veil. It just gives you more of a finished and flawless look, so I'm just going to apply that all over my face. 
Okay, so now I'm just going to show you like a sneak peek of how I feel on my eyebrows because I have crazy eyebrows and they're just really hard to fill in anyways. But lately I've been really liking the Jordana Cosmetics Fabio Brow, I think is what it's called. And my color is in light medium, so I just lightly fill in my brows. It's nothing really special. <laughs> Alright, this eyeliner has quickly became my new favorite eyeliner, and this is the Rimmel Scandal Eyes Nude Eyeliner. The color is just called 005 Nude, and I just like to use this on my lower waterline just to give more, again, of a brightened effect. And it's absolutely amazing. It's very creamy, and it stays on all day. Okay, so next I'm just taking one of Clinique's newest products, and this is the Chubby Stick Shadow Tints, and these are basically a same version of the Chubby Stick for lips, just for the eyes, and my shade that I'm using today is called Ample Amber, and I'm just going to be placing that on the lower lid and kind of slightly blending it into the crease. This color actually isn't very pigmented, so you'll kind of want to build this up if you do have this same color. Next, I'm also taking another limited edition product. Um, I'm sorry, but I will give you another option to use. This is Bare Minerals Primetime Shadow Primer in Shimmering Shell. It's just a beige shimmery color. And another option to use if you don't have this is the Maybelline Color Tattoos in Barely Branded or Barely Beige. So I'm just applying this all over my brow bone. Next, I'm just applying mascara, and I'm not really going to show you that because I think it's boring, but the two mascaras that I do use are CoverGirl Lash Blast Volume and Almay Get Up and Grow, and I really like the two combinations right now. And after mascara, you are done with the eye look. Next, I'm applying my favorite lip combination for the month of February, and I'm just taking the Neutrogena Moisture Smooth lip colors I believe is what they're called I'll have to just put the link down below or just the name but this is in the color sweet watermelon and it is absolutely amazing I love this color and next I'm just taking my new favorite lip gloss this is the Clinique super balm moisturizing lip gloss and this shade is in grapefruit I believe but it is so moisturizing absolutely love this lip gloss and after that, your look is complete. So I really hope you guys enjoyed more of the luminous tutorial. I kind of wanted to bring this out as like a spring tutorial, more of like a fresh look. Um, if you guys have any questions for me, as usual, feel free to leave them down below. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.